Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Warps. Uh, today, I guess, I don't know, Swinging Rook, Central Fall, something like that. Good luck. Something like that could be fun. Our opponent has won two games in a row. Um, I'm guessing that they're a newer player on this site. Just given they have a... I generally don't get paired against a double-digit Q player, but the site saw fit to pair me in such a manner, so they probably have an impressive win streak already built up. Um, and to have built such a win streak... Well, I mean, they, we saw they won two in a row. But uh, generally... You rank up pretty quickly on this site. Anyway. Yeah, let's make the best use of all of my pieces here. Alright, so they are building a very solid castle, which means there are going to be holes on the other side of the board. Um... I'm going to divide the board in two. They can push with this rook and hopefully not get too far. So having divided the board in two, I can defend however much is appropriate to defend and also attack. Um, I don't think this is over defending here. Oh, check that out. They want to build uh, the king in the corner castle. And I gave them time to do it, so that's on me. Um, this is going to be weak, however. Welcome. Yep, so they're building what's called Anaguma Castle, where you tuck your king in the corner, bring all your generals to surround it. I could and should have seen that coming a mile away. Oops. All right. Well, the next best thing I can do is try to profit in some way from this. So, very often this file ends up being of some significance with that castle. I mean, sure, the edge file is quite important, and if you can get all your pieces piled onto there and break it open, that's great. In practice, I'm generally not able to do that. So, this file ends up being my next target. Um, hmm. Managed to reclaim your third Don rank on 81 Dojo. Well done. Okay, so I've probably massively messed this up. This is not a shape I've seen before. But what's the problem with the shape? I actually don't see it. I mean, the knight's head is of some concern. But it, do we call it a problem? That I don't know. Let's try to narrow the scope of this bishop and gradually encroach on this. They're sending all their pieces on a vacation to that side of the board. Um, I 
Okay, we keep this knight shut out or sealed in. I mean, yeah, I've sealed my bishop in, and I'm not crazy about that, but... Um... Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about doing anything useful here. Because anything I do is going to have some risk involved with it. What I kind of want to do is bring the rook over and then my gold up here, but that's silly. What might make sense is pushing this edge pawn once more, as there's I don't see anything objectively wrong with that. Um, but yeah, they've built an extremely strong castle, which means I need to pick up all the rest of their pieces and gradually hack this thing down. I guess. I could be wrong. So now this rook attempts an attack all by itself. Well, I guess with the support of a pawn. But this is, I guess, why you don't move literally all of your pieces to one side of the board. It can get challenging to attack if you do that. Um, if I push the center pawn, they take my silver. It's no good. Uh, if I take here, my silver is trapped. Hindsight is 20 20. Hmm. hmm. Okay, I'll try to keep this together. Interesting. Gofun. All right, so someday I might build a castle, maybe if I feel like it. Um, Mm -hmm. My knight's head is exposed. There's nothing I can do about it. That's cool. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Well, this is gonna suck. Yeah, if I try to cut the rook off, they're eventually just going to drop upon here anyway. So, I don't want to do anything that could further constrict my bishop. Um, so I guess this is how I'm moving forward. Either my knight advances or my bishop advances. Or neither. There's a third possibility. And, uh, I don't know. That's pretty hairy. Uh, let's try this. I'm in trouble already. I've got no time to think, and I'm not reasoning well. So, let's just trust my instinct, and if we're lucky, maybe win the game on time, but yuck. Thumping. We removed the token, so we've gotten, they have a knight, they're going to collect a pawn soon and promote their dragon. We have a bishop. Not a lot to say about that. I could try to activate my rook against their rook, but then they drop a pawn and yeah, I'm in trouble. My bishop has nowhere to go. Um... But defending the bishop doesn't get me very far either. So welcome. Actually, they can't promote here, can they? I just assumed that the rook had a square to promote on. It's going to move over here, but... It's not entirely trivial. Does that amazingly there's not a king bishop fork here yet. So once they plug the file, then we'll move over to the other file. This is so tenuous. Alright, we've got a rook in hand that someday could become a dragon. That definitely is a fork. Um, mm -hmm. Don't run from a fork except when you should. Then run. All right, so. Yeah, there's some problems here. Alright, that's safe, right? Maybe. Probably not. Try to defend our king.
We'll just run the king out to the left side of the board. That's safe, right? Maybe next time I don't push this pawn so far up the board. Um, Alright, so if I want to survive, I have to take this, I guess. They have one move here. They have one move here. There it is. Not sure what the extended think was about. Fuck. Wait, no, they can't drop a gold here, and they don't have a gold either. They have other stuff, but... Yeah. This is an improvised castle. Hmm. They have a knight in Eep hand. Boom. Wait, this bishop's trapped. Okay, we're gonna run. That's not good. Sanjubio. Hmm. That's desperate. That's not going to hold because they do knight. No, they do dragon takes. But then the knight's stuck in the way. Maybe this does hold. Yuck. I'll get ready to run. I'm running anyway, I don't care. Mm. I can't drop any pawns. Uh, I guess we'll take this. Hmm. Yeah, my king is severely exposed. Well, something's up today. How many checkmates can you count? Thanks for the game. How you however you pronounce that. All right. One down, two to go. Good luck. Ooh, our opponent plays Demon Killer. At least that's their favorite opening. Interesting.
Interesting. What is our opponent up to? Something. Yeah, we're definitely up to something. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay. Sure. This is legal. Um, yep, we've Definitely got a game in motion here. Um, sure, let's exchange that. And get ourselves a horse. Lagging is not a star, at least in no game that is serious, but in Shogi Wars, it does work. Yeah. I have made comments over weeks uh, talking about how games on this site have a different spirit than games on other sites. Mm-hmm. I guess maybe I'm stuck using metaphors like that to talk about gameplay because, like, what kind of genuine argument can be had? If there can be an argument in a way that, like, there's two propositions and one can prevail over the other, if that sort of argument or debate could be had, it would have been had already by now, probably. But also, I don't see how it could be had. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I guess... Like, clearly... I'm not crazy about the time controls that are available on the site, but they are wildly popular. So... Hmm. That's a consideration. They're probably going to drop this bishop here. It's going to fork my lance and my horse, and I'm going to just cry and take it. Um, oh, never mind. We're going to cry for other reasons. That's fine. Interesting, actually. Um, the fuck? I mean, I did invite the circumstance, but it's not looking good for me. That's just to put it mildly. This looks pretty tragic. Um, well, in all circumstances, this move is helpful. So let's play it. Not knowing what's going to happen next. But understanding that like, no matter what happens, this is a useful move. Now, I could take here and just lose a piece. Or we could take the horse. So we're going to take the horse. Now, what's useful about having pushed this is that I can drop a bishop here. Um, do I do that? Or do I drop here first? If silver takes drop, they protect the fork. I don't have any way to like renew the threat on. Well, actually I do. 
but then their attacks um, very fast. If I place here, and this looks decent. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm just a bit mad that I messed up. And not in some stupid tactical way. This is this is far more fundamental. Just me not understanding at all how openings and middle games work. So that's cool. At least you know, having played the moves now we know like where our mistakes lie. Um but geez, it's kind of a mess. Okay, where's the rook drop gonna hurt? Like everywhere, but still. Um, if I retreat here versus there, oh, I could take this. That'd be dumb. That'd be hilarious. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's take this. And then later on, they're going to drop a pawn here. It's going to encase their king. Um, you want the horses next to your king. Not on the left side of the board, but... Um, yeah. That's funny. Um, okay, they see my attack before I have a way to even start it. Um, if I bring this back, they attack directly. Alright, that's a fork of some kind. I know it's defended, but... Once that stopped me. Oh, I should probably drop a pawn out here somewhere. Just in case this diagonal ever opens up. But then if the rook comes in, yeah, okay, never mind. Not yet. We'll save that idea for later. I could actually drop a pawn here and then take this. Okay, I kind of expected a move like that. Um, mm, that's quite dangerous. Um... All right, we're just going to retreat and keep an eye on this. What's this with me retreating in 2022? Retreating is not how I play. And yet here I am. Um, okay, that's amazing. Go for Sure. We'll build the infamous clip shape. The shape that is so strong that it never gets destroyed. It's premature to build this, I guess, but I could use my silver to start mopping up these pawns that are hanging. Um, yeah, I assumed that they would do that. Um, okay. Look, I'm playing for traps. Uh, is that a bad thing? That's a bad thing. Alright. Playing for traps is probably not a good way to play the game.
So I guess there is a rook drop back here. But I've built up a huge initiative now. Because this king is still extremely exposed. I can still push this pawn to try to crack this open whenever it suits me. Um, but actually, this pawn move doesn't do anything. But yeah, this rook drop has more influence now than when my horse was back here. Um, Alright, they defend the knight. We attack the knight. Good conversation. Um, Oh. I see. So yeah, we're talking about that uh, famous uh, YouTube live streamer who puts up a poll and asks, um, and I apologize, that's probably not the right title to use for them. But they're asking which site to use. Interesting. Um... Hey, look, I've walked into some tactics. <laughs> this wasn't even a hard tactic. I just walked right into it. Interesting. I guess it says something about my mental state today. Yep, so they take. Out of habit, I will take back, even though this isn't checkers. A piece for a piece. And. Oh, they actually defend their king. Um, interesting. Well, damn. Hmm. Oh, hey, I see another tactic. We're going to do the other tactic now. I was so fixated on, uh, hey, they blocked my fork here, and that nothing here seems to be working, and that I they could drop a silver and it forks my pieces, right? Um, but it turns out this diagonal is actually aligned with their king, so if I have to retreat my horse... I can retreat it, giving check. Alright, so none of that actually mattered. Um, that's fair. I can't drop a piece to defend my horse. They're playing well. I'm impressed. Nifun. It's a very observant move. Alright, let me just proceed to hang everything at once somehow. Let's find out how this works. So if they drop the silver, horse takes, they could take one of my big pieces and lots of stuff hangs. 
I don't have another bishop to do a fork with. My horse still... Yeah, okay. I could also push this pawn. That doesn't seem wise. Alright, we're going to take this. Then take that. So now I've got a rook, which is going to become a dragon. But they're going to have a dragon outside my camp. But it's not in my camp. Yet, anyway. So then I try to defend this, also attack that. They take this, and I don't know where we're at. I guess I defend my rook. Sure. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm not thinking enough, but I don't have. I haven't budgeted my time properly. I never do. I'm always thinking. You should just think and always play the right moves and always have enough time and, like, never have these time budgeting issues. Just have clarity of thought. That's the way to do it. Probably should have retreated and then attacked this knight. But... I'm impatient. Why am I so impatient? I don't know. I want to checkmate them before my time expires. But the best way to do that is by playing good moves. Not by doing crazy attacking moves. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting a rook here to fork this and something on that file and then be able to sack my horse and then have rook takes gold. That's very loosely what the plan is. For that plan to succeed, my horse can't be back here. So that's what I'm looking at. Are there better plans? Almost certainly. Like, I could take this lance, drop it here, Drop a silver here, fork the king in the gold. That's probably a good plan. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do that plan then. Forget plan A, it's not going anywhere. The opponent's already seen it. They haven't seen plan B. Uh, also, time-wise, I seem to be prevailing. Imagine that. Oh, that's interesting. Um... Ah, this is fine. It's not smart. Why did I do that? Oh, hang on. I missed that. Alright. Let's continue to pile up our mistakes as the clock continues to tick. Tick, tick. Thanks for the game. Alright, I think that's two down, one to go. Yeah, we still have one more to go. I'm trying to get engaged in conversation here, but also... Yeah, it's hard. Good luck. Wow. Can I click today? All right, we've split the board. We'll bring the silver up right away. Look to the center. 
everything out. Um, yeah, that's normal. Uh, I don't remember how all this works, but I think I've seen this position before. Night up is always a threat. Work back, I guess. Interesting. I don't remember this one. Probably should remember it. Okay, we're going to learn this the hard way again. We've seen this before, and yet I just don't recall what to do against it. So I need to learn it again. All right. This looks modestly interesting. I have no patience at this point. If I get mated, I get mated. Nanafun. I was going to drop my knight here, unironically. Maybe I can find a better move. Maybe. Sure, that's maybe a better move.
Fuck. <laughs> Our opponent is resourceful. All right. Perhaps they're not as patient as they are resourceful. But boy, are they resourceful. Like, every one of my moves hangs something. Incredible. Alright. Gofun. Sure. This is safe. Maybe. Uh... Check. King out. Hmm. That's for the game. That's what it took me a minute and a half to find, by the way. That uh, five move combination. But we found it, so that game is mine. Ooh, that was exciting. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.